I just returned home from UVU campus and I'm exhausted. But lately I've been I've been thinking. Well thanks, Dan Smith. I have been thinking a lot actually. So the past few days or so, there have been a couple of thoughts that have been flowing through my vast mind. The first being the topic of reminiscing, or thinking back to earlier times in your life. Many of my thought trains have gone back to when I was much younger, back in my hometown of Roscoe, Illinois. I've thought a lot about them. So, in honor of me thinking so much about who I was in the past and the adventures and times I had with past friends. I've decided to go through some old footage of mine because I have so much from who knows how long ago um, on my GoPro and on this camera from many many years ago and just you know put a little compilation video together just to glorify my past I guess you could say. Here's another thought. Let me pose a question to you. Would you rather be average at a variety of things, or would you rather be outstanding at just one thing? Think about that for a second. Well, to be quite honest, it's a tough question. That's undeniable. For me personally, I feel like I'm more on the first spectrum where I have the capacity to do many, many things. But to be honest, I would consider myself average at the majority of the things that I'm able to do. Here's an example. Um, a couple months ago, during my first semester of UVU, I went to a UVU men's ultimate frisbee practice. I didn't really feel like I belonged. I played all four years of high school of intramural ultimate frisbee and it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. Seven five. But I went to UVU and they were like calling out plays and telling me to run triangle and I'm sitting there on the field like... Uh, yeah, I didn't really go back because I didn't feel like I belonged there. But it's alright. Good experience anyway.
play guitar. I consider myself decent at guitar. I can play piano. I can't read sheet music very well, but I do play memorization mainly. I do play a lot of other sports. I love tennis, played all four years of high school. I absolutely love basketball, playing it for fun mainly, watching it, anything, great sport. Um, so as you can see, I do participate in many things, but coming out here to Utah, Coming out here to Utah has made me realize that I'm not quite as good as I thought I was at many of these. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's just that, you know, at collegiate level, they're all really intense and competitive. But, yeah. So back to the question in mind, it's not like we can really go back and change who we have become at this point in my life, I'm 18 years old, but if I had the opportunity to go back and instill within my parents' minds when I was just a wee lad that I was going to be remarkable at just one thing, maybe tennis would have been the best tennis player in the state, I don't know if I would do it. Like I said, it's hard because your whole life would be devoted to that one thing. You know, people who go into the pros for sports or anything in that similar fashion, they dedicate their entire lives to it pretty much. And as great as that would be, that sounds like a hard lifestyle. So if I had the chance, I might do it, but who knows. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video, because I really enjoyed making it. A very special thank you to my subscribers. You guys are seriously the best. If you haven't done so yet, please click here and subscribe. It would be so much appreciated. I'm coming out with new content very often, new videos. If you want to see my last video about Spikeball, you can click here and do that. Until next time.